All right, so after completing the install and uninstall, I realized that there may be an easier way to disconnect the electrical harness without removing interior car panels. So what we will do is we'll pull on this to disconnect the wire loom. Then we'll wiggle this entire connector straight out. Then we will be able to press down here and disconnect as such. And then you'll be able to remove the door by taking out the bolts. And then once you get the door remounted, you will reconnect this connector here. Then you will wiggle it back through the hole. Then you will press back the wiring loom into the hole. And that's the easy way to redo the electrical connector. All right, so we're going to be removing a door off a 97 to 2001 Toyota Camry. And it's going to be the back door. The driver's side and passenger side doors are taken apart the same way. Um, first, we're going to get this out of the way. Of that yeah most seats don't usually just come out like that but this one do and you don't need to take the seat out but we have the availability to do that so we're just gonna do that so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here and you're going to use a flathead screwdriver you're gonna just pop out this trim piece there we go Right. Now we're going to do the same thing on the back door. This one usually comes out a little bit easier. Pull it up and in. And, uh, you don't actually need to completely disconnect it. Now we're going to take the collar trim off. And I'll actually open the front door as well to give a little more access to it. We'll start down at the bottom and just pull. And then you'll open up the top like such. Now that those are out of the way, we have this wiring protecting panel right here. You just use a flathead and pop it out. access the wiring connector. Now on the inside of here, you see the connector, you'll just push down on a tab. Uh, there we are. And pull it. So push and pull. Now that that is disconnected, we'll come over here. And you should be able to just pry this connector out here and wiggle it through the hole. Now all that's left to do is to remove four 10 millimeter mounting bolts and one 12 millimeter mounting bolt. So we will start with the door spring here. switch over to our 12 millimeter. What I'm gonna do first is loosen all four of these a little bit. Then I'll start from the bottom and work my way up taking them completely out. this point it's good to have another person pick up some of the weight off the door and that will help keep these last couple of bolts from binding now you can and I have removed doors by yourself however reinstalling the door is incredibly beneficial to have a second person 
doing that by yourself is no bueno. All right, Joe, you can take off at the door now. And that's how you take a door off. The 1997 to 2001 Toyota Camry with a 12 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter socket, and a flathead screwdriver. Appreciate you, dude. used car doors we're going to educate the general public on how to install them on a 1997 to 2001 Toyota Camry Beautiful. that's what we're gonna do with it. this this car went through the flood in 2016 here in Louisiana and uh, it has lived ever since as a parts car behind the shop where no one knows that it's here it's kind of a sad life, but you know, they didn't choose it. They didn't get crushed, and that's what matters. All right, Joe, lift the door over here, and we'll try to line up these holes. We may actually want to get, like, maybe from the other side. Right here's good. You can see here? Mm -hmm. Up a little bit. A little bit too much. Right. Go down a little bit. All right, lower the bottom of the door. Keep right. going, keep going, stop. Take a short step back. Right there, perfect. These are just 12 millimeter bolts that mount the door. <laughs> to the hinge. Now you don't wanna tighten that one up too tight. These are self-aligning bolts. As you can see that it has a bevel on it. So as you tighten it up, it's going to line itself up as long as it's not too far out of whack. Ooh, right there, Joe. That's perfect. It helps to have another person to hold the door for you. Yes. Tremendous. Now we have the top, the top hinge mounted line up and start putting the bolts in the bottom so i need you to push the bottom of the door towards me and pull the top towards you yes just like that now open the door joe so far, so one last one last mounting bolt here these bolts snug and go through one by one and tighten them up. All right, now you're going to switch to a 10 millimeter socket with a extension to mount the door spring. There we go. Now that all these bolts are tight, take our electrical connector and feed it through this hole here. Can you see that? We'll pop that in, then we'll snug this grommet on the protective cover into the hole by pressing it around the perimeter. 
until it all pops in. So it should look like that when it's all set and done. Now, we'll come to the inside. We're going to reconnect this connector to the connector in there, which is probably the most difficult part of this job. What you normally do is you line it up. Once you get it lined up, you just push it until it snaps into place like that. So this is all that you actually have to work with. It's kind of snug. This right here. And you'll feed that back in there. Now we will reattach this wire loom cover. There we go. Make sure it's snapped in. Next, we need to reattach this column trim panel. So actually release the uh, seat belt. And on this, we'll start at the top see that it has three pins that will have to be aligned but we'll start at the top this pin and this pin will go into this hole here and the corresponding hole on the other side so we'll just set it over I'll do the so you can see set it over on one side and you reach around and snap it in place like such and then you'll try to line up some of the holes in the bottom Line that pin up. And you set it all in place. Next, we'll take this trim piece, line up these tabs inside of that metal groove. There we go. And then you'll do the same thing with the front one. And that's how you install a door on a 97 to 2001 Toyota Camry. Mm -hmm.